Please welcome Mr. Issa O'Neill. I think I deserve a bit more applause. <laughs> Hello? I I'm gonna say some things. You're welcome. Uh, if it's not that funny, think of me as an intermission. Uh, two years ago, uh, my, my five-year-old brother learned to read, and my parents got very excited. But I could read too. In fact, I could read much better than him. But they weren't excited for me. Thanks a lot, Obamacare. Awesome and awful are odd words. They both describe varying degrees of awe. From what I can tell, awe is good if you have some of it. But if something is full of awe, whoa, hold back, that's way too much awe. Uh, the, the band, the Insane Clown Posse, has a song called Miracles. One lyric from that song is, fucking magnets, how do they work? Another lyric is, I don't want to talk to a scientist, which is a shame, otherwise how are they going to find out how magnets work? <laughs> I am a member of the post-millennial generation, also known as Generation Y. Millennials were also known as, sorry, also known as Generation uh, Z. Millennials were known as Generation Y, and before them were Generation X. I'm just going to say it, we've ran out of letters. <laughs> And it's time to make some new ones. Uh, uh, th these new letters should be uh, silent in all the words they're put in. Uh, they, they should be at the end of the alphabet, and we can leave them out for, of the alphabet song for brevity's sake. Uh, uh, I think these sh uh, letters should be mandatory in the name of all sports teams and be hard, very hard to act out with one's body because I want to make cheerleading more challenging. <laughs> Did you know currently not one letter requires a cheerleader to do a drop kick? <laughs> I also think I have a way to use these letters to solve our nation's budgetary problems. Corporate branding. Just imagine Rangers could be spelled out R A N G E R S Goldman Sachs. <laughs> I would like to see a girl act out sex. <laughs> the only other, uh, the only alternative I see to uh, making new letters is to make the post-millennial generation the last generation to exist. <laughs> now you may think this is impossible, but our friends in Big Oil may just prove you wrong. Uh, uh, my, my parents are encouraging me to get involved in stand-up comedy because I'm annoying. <laughs> and they want me out of the house. <laughs> I'm annoying because I rant a lot about politics. For example, I dislike Obama. Obama thinks he can run the entire nation on the flimsy excuse we elected him to run the entire nation. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure you're all familiar with the police routine Good cop, bad cop. I'm trying something new out, it's good cop, cop that'll shoot you. <laughs> Sp speaking of cops, immigration is a big issue. Uh, uh, Mexicans are coming here from Puerto Rico and Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> Now the thing a lot of politicians don't seem to understand is that if we just let all the immigrants in, the next thing you know, America will become a nation of immigrants. <laughs> My father did not come here all the way from Europe for this nation to be overrun by immigrants. You've been a wonderful audience. Uh, thank you.